Happy holidays, you guys! I am getting ready to go to an ugly sweater party, and it was kind of last minute, so I got these little stickers. I was making my son's baby book, and I was like, wait a minute, I have these stickers I can just put on my shirt. So that's what I did. I just stuck them onto this mock turtleneck, Sam's favorite hoe, and my boyfriend is going to be wearing a black shirt that just says Santa. So I got this. My boyfriend picked up these hats for us, and I'm just wearing all black and the Santa hats, and yeah, that's what we're doing for the ugly sweater party. Nothing exciting. We didn't really take the time I didn't actually have time to order anything, so this will work. I've already put my serums on my face and a tinted sunscreen. Where is it? CC cream. It cosmetic CC cream. I mix this 50-50 with sunscreen, so it comes out like a tinted sunscreen or a tinted moisturizer. And that is all I have on my face right now. I am going to just touch up some blemishes and under eyes first. I'm using e.l.f. Basically the same thing that I do for every video when I'm getting my face ready. This is the medium. And I go down the dark areas of my face. And this is very hydrating. On my last video, I actually got a comment from a woman who was asking, what can I put on my angry 11, she called them, in here. I have to say I am lucky that my face just, oh, there we go. We got something going on there. My face just does not make that scowl. I just have never done that. My expression's always like this. I'm always like this with the eyebrows. I'm never going like that. Like I just don't make that movement with my face. So I don't have 11s. And I mean, I know some young people that have them. It's not necessarily just because of age. It has to do with how the muscles in your face work. And I have never had any Botox or fillers or anything, so what you're seeing is just the way that my face is aging based on genes, based on how I use the muscles in my face. What I do have is hollows under my eyes where that's something that I've considered getting filler on is under my eyes just because it creates such dark circles. But you know what? <laughs> That's, that's my face and I'm just going to embrace it and even though it does bother me sometimes that I look really tired with the dark circles, my dad used to say he passed away, um, gosh, almost four years ago now and he used to say to me, oh my god, did you get punched in the eye? Like if I had no makeup on, I'm like, no dad, you made me like this. So even when I was younger, I had the dark circles under my eyes. So that is one thing that I use makeup to cover. So she was asking me about the 11s and what I responded is these two products that I use. I have a light, a medium, and the Garnier Anti-Dark Circle Roller. These are all super hydrating, very lightweight. I do not use powder with them at all. So this is what I would recommend for aging skin, lines, wrinkles, dark circles, under eyes. If you have like dry under eyes. Honestly, I don't understand when I see older YouTubers using a thick concealer. Like I have Bye Bye Under Eye, which is amazing, but I use that on blemishes. If I put that under my eyes right now with no fillers, no Botox, nothing done on my 51 year old skin, it would look like a cakey mess. So I think those YouTubers must have not the hollows that I have under my eyes. Like you can see when I look down, it's like deep in there. So that's what like fillers would push out and maybe the um, under eye concealer would go on smoother. Some people don't have them. Like I said, some people don't have hollows or under eyes like I do, but they have the 11s or vice versa. So it really depends just on your skin 
and you just work with what you got. Next, I'm gonna use the Garnier Roller. This is my fave. I turned so many of you guys onto this and you're constantly leaving me comments saying how much you love it. You use just under where the darkness is, just pat it in, it's hydrating, it's not thick. I don't use any powder, you can use it as an eyelid primer just to get rid of any of the redness on the inner corner and you can touch up throughout the day. I love this. And it makes such a difference hiding those dark circles. Next, I'm gonna use Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Concealer just to spot conceal any darkness or blemishes. Only use a teeny tiny tiny bit I tried to get a blackhead out right here and now I've got a lovely, it didn't come out so now it's just red and the blackhead is still there. It'll come out eventually, but I like this because it does not, it's super stay and it doesn't come off. It stays on like really nice. And I've got a pimple starting on my nose so let's hide that now it starts to grow <laughs> you can use this on broken capillaries sometimes I get those usually they'll heal up but this really is like a nice thick concealer I would never use this under my eyes I actually did one time and I remember I went to go see my daughter and she's like uh, mom like what did you do you look so old right now and I'm just like yep I put this thick concealer on with powder under my eyes and that's what happens even my daughter was like what the heck did you do so that's when I started searching for concealers that would work under my eyes and not make me look older that's not the point of makeup it's to make you look a better version of yourself I use powder more in the summertime because it's winter and my skin is super dry right now. I'm not going to use powder. I'm just going to put some of this on this scar. I had neck surgery, a pro disc replacement, and they go through the front. So just a little bit of concealer helps to hide that. For bronzer, I'm using the Physicians Formula Talc Free Airbrushing Bronzer. This will probably be all off by the time I put my Santa hat on, but we'll do it anyway to get some color. So this will probably be the last video that I post before Christmas. I will definitely post before New Year's because I think my next video is going to be um, my diet overhaul, which, oh my gosh, you guys, I can't wait to film that and get it out for you because I am feeling like a new woman in one week. I noticed a difference like the first day that I started changing my diet to eat foods that gave me more energy and I seriously feel like a new woman. So I can't wait to get that out there for you guys. I'm feeling so much better. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are doing for the holidays. I am going Christmas Eve over to my stepmom's house and that's where our whole family goes and that's just been a tradition for many years and it's just so sad that my dad's not here anymore. That was his house with my stepmom but I just, I love getting together with my family and spending time with them. I'm like so lucky. I have such a great family. I'm going to use some of this Revlon translucent powder just to chisel out the bronzer and just wipe that off with a clean fluffy brush. For blush, I'm using Hot Mame. 
I love this color. It just gives you a really nice blush. Oop, that was a little much. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take a clean, fluffy brush. I'm going to use my normal e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls, but I'm going to add another highlighter on top of that just because it's like a nighttime party to get some extra bling. I'm going to go into the Carly Bible palette. This is her deluxe palette. I don't think this is available anymore, but I will try to find it and link it below with all the other products. I'm going to use this highlighter right there. This is like super bling. I'm going to use my finger. Mm, not loving it. Not with what I'm have on my face, but we got to just go with it. That'll do. I'm going to fill in my brows with the NYX Micro Brow. This is in dark brown. For eyes, I am going to just dab into these two brown colors and I'm only doing in the outer corner and then I'm going to sweep just in my crease and just above my crease, not on my lid. I was going through some YouTube comments last night and I kind of, I lost this comment. It's so hard to keep track of everything, especially when comments come in on videos that I posted a while ago. So I don't remember what video it was on. I think it might've been one of my skincare videos and someone said, because I, oh yeah, it was on my skincare video because I was posting pictures of like, way back like 20 30 years ago of my face and showing like how i've changed over the years and the woman said it looked like you used to have hooded eyes have you had work done have you had anything done on your eyes and no i've had nothing done i really think that it was probably just makeup because i wear my makeup so differently now and when i was younger my face was much fuller i've always had like a full face and as I'm aging like you can see you know it kind of gets your skin gets thinner I guess so maybe I had more um, fat around my eyes which not maybe I definitely did because when I was younger I had puffy under eyes and now they're like sunk in instead of like them puffing out so it's amazing what makeup can do and literally make you look like you have had surgery done by just changing the shadows on your eyes or your face or your nose or your lips or anything and that happens a lot where people are like oh you're lying not me personally but anyone that is out there on social media oh you're lying you had a nose job you had your lips done you had your eye no it's 99 percent of the time it's makeup so that is what i'm doing now is like I said, in the corner, in the crease, just above the crease, just to give a, gives my eyes a totally different look and like lifts them up. I'm going to dab my finger in this white and it is white, very white. I'm doing a very um, classic nighttime Christmassy look. I have to figure out what 
red lip color is going to work with my Santa hat. I actually only have three lip colors. I only like to use the Color Stay lip color. So I will show you what I'm going to do with that. Put it in the inner corner. And I'm gonna put a little bit of the brown underneath my lash line. I'm gonna go in and take some of this It Cosmetics uh, Naturally Pretty. This is an even pinker blush. I just wanna really pop my cheeks. I feel like it's kind of that Santa Christmassy look. All right, before I keep going, I'm going to put on my Santa hat. Oh, I wanna see my hair, you guys. I straightened it with my new Irresistible Me Diamond Infrared Black Flat Iron. This is incredible. I will link this down below. Favorite, favorite, favorite flat iron. I mean, look how silky and healthy and gorgeous my hair looks, and it is not silky like this if I don't straighten it. So if you guys are looking for an amazing flat iron, I totally recommend this one. All right, so I'm going to put my Santa hat on to get an idea of the red for my lips. I'm feeling so Christmassy. <laughs> All right, so I have three colors. Hmm. I think I'm gonna mix these two. This one is matte. Hmm. Lips are so dry. I already exfoliated, but let me see. I'm gonna try this one. This is Pioneer, uh, Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Pioneer. It's kind of darker than I wanted, but it's really pretty. Yeah, I think we'll go with this one. I'm using the e.l.f. Concealer around my lips. That's red. And this will stay until I take it off with makeup remover. All right, for liner, I'm gonna use two liners. I'm using the Grande Liner along the lash line because this has eyelash growth serum in it and it is okay to use with my eyelash extensions because it does not have glycol in it. And I'm also going to use the NYX Epic Ink, yeah, NYX Epic Ink, eyeliner this stays on it's waterproof it is amazing but I want to use this one up and help my lashes grow I'm gonna go over this with the Epic Ink to give it even more staying power. That Epic Ink, I can fall asleep and wake up in the morning and it's still on. All 
spray. I'm gonna do some setting spray. And I have these Wet n Wild Major Glitter Sparkle. I think I'm gonna go with silver and I'm going to dab this onto my lids to get a pop of sparkle. I would use my finger, but I wanna be more precise. Oh yeah, there's some shimmer. Sparkles! That's so Christmassy. Love it. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of this under my brow just to line it with some sparkle. And I'm going to use some of the e.l.f. highlighter just to give it more of a pop. I'm going to use some more white in the inner corner. and the Garnier Roller to clean up around the wing. This is like the main part that I will powder is just over by the wing. And like I said, I don't powder under my eyes and I use hardly any powder period in the winter just because my skin is super super dry okay so i'm going to use the revlon color stay powder and just put a dab under the wing Then, to make my lashes pop even more, I'm gonna use this Physician's Formula Organic Wear Mascara. It is glycol-free, so I can use it with my eyelash extensions and when I want them to be even thicker and really pop. I'm actually due for a fill, so they're not as thick as they normally are. I'm going to add a little more setting spray. And that's it. Happy holidays, you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos. I love you guys so much. Bye.